Hi everyone and welcome at Your Guitar Workshop. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to manipulate your cage chords to turn them into different chords. This is going to be uh, the first of two lessons and uh, we'll see how it all pans out. So let's start with um, the cage chords. So what is important is that you know what the cage chords are. So that would be uh, C, A, G, E, and D and how to move them across the neck of the guitar. The next step is that what we're gonna be looking at now is what each note represents in those chords. So let's start with a C chord. So under each finger and those open strings is a note and that note has a certain function in the chord. So this is the first note of the scale. This is the third one. This is the fifth one. This is the root or the first one. And this is the third one. So this is root, third, fifth, root, third. This is important to know because once we know where the third is, the fifth or the root, we can then start to manipulate things a little bit. So the third that is here is a major third because this is a C chord, C major. Major means the third is going to be major, All right? Now, what we're going to be looking at is what I call the sus2 to sus4 line. What does that mean? Well, first we have to go to our intervals. So let's look at it over here. So we got our uh, our timeline, right? This could be a string. This could be anything. So we got our major third here. Now our fourth was a half step up. Then we have uh, our major second over here. In between the major second and the major third is the minor third. Okay, so major second, minor third, major third, and the fourth. The chord that we're playing is C, and so if we have the C scale, here's the C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. The C is built from the first, the third, and the fifth note of that scale. So that is C, E, G, or one major three, and fifth. Okay? So let's do some experimenting here. So we got our C chord. And I'm not going to play the top E string. And I'll explain later why. So now what I want to do is to, instead of pl in playing that major third, playing that four. So under our middle finger was the major third. And then if you move that up a semitone to this one, we get this chord. And this is what we call a sus4. When you play a sus4 chord, instead of playing the major third, you play the fourth. One, four, five. And to me, suspended, like sus chords, suspended is in two ways. You suspend the major third and instead you put in the fourth, or the sound of the chord sounds like it's something that is suspended in air. It doesn't have any, you know, it needs to go somewhere, which is there, right? Okay, so one, four, five. So we got. C major, if you go to the fourth, you get C sus4. Now let's go back to that C major, right? So now let's play the major second instead, which is a D. So that is a whole step down from your third. So that's just open D, right? So. What do we have here? Well, there we have one, two, five. One, two, five. So this one was 
sus4, this one will be sus2. So this one is just called major sus4, sus2. Right? So we got C major, C sus4, C sus2. And that leaves us with one, which is here, which is our minor third. It'll be a bit tricky to play. And that is our C minor chord. So we got one, minor three, five. Oops, minor, right? So even though I am seeing the C here, I sort of see this shape as being either C sus4, uh, C major, C minor, and C sus2. Four chords for the price of one, if you know where these things are. And this goes for all the other chords as well. So if you have, for instance, your D chord, right? This is root five, root major third. Well, major third, half step up, you play your fourth. This is D sus four. This is D major. If you go a half step down, you get your D minor. Go another half step down, you got your D sus two. Same for A major, this is A major. This is your third, this will be sus4, minor, and sus2. Sus4, major, minor, sus2. So if you start thinking about chords more in that way, then there is a whole lot less to uh, remember. It's not just a shape, but you sort of understand where the shape comes from. And that makes it, at least for me, a lot easier to remember. All right, so I got this information in a PDF form uh, on my Patreon page. So if you're interested in that, uh, do check it out. In a next video, we're going to learn how to turn all those uh, minors, sus2s, sus4s, and majors into uh, seventh and sixth chords. That's it for today. Uh, have a great week, and uh, hope to see you again sometime. Bye. <laughs>